hey yo like I just figured out with Marcos while we were working on IVR2 that Roblox also is a very po very powerful tool to do water experimentations and simulations. Take a look. This is just like a box of water and then here in the properties we can uh, change its color. You know, I don't know like of course I'm terrible at that. It's my second or third day or whatever. But if we do something bad, we can always control Z. There is water reflectance to see how reflective the water is going to be or opaque. Take a look at that. Water transparency. So, because in Roblox you can swim easily into the water. But this one is cool. Wave size. Like, it was like that, kind of still. And then I put like the wave size, now it's wavy. Uh, water wave speed take a look <laughs> this is total like totally powerful for the ivr3 water simulation and not only that uh in the terrain editor over here we have this uh in the edits tab we have sea level so we can kind of delimit where the sea level of the environment is I can pull it up or down and we might have like a greater control of the simulations of the water going up when the flooding happens right so I'm throwing this idea at you and I really believe that it's gonna empower uh, you for in uh, your studies uh, but you should also continue doing the Unity uh, tutorials because I believe it's easier to control coding and programming in Unity than it's in Roblox. Because I don't know yet about anything in Roblox. Remember, day two. If Roblox is also C Sharp, then it's good because I know C Sharp. Or if any of you knows which language Roblox uses and is good at programming in that language, go for that and share the knowledge with us please so we can all work faster together but that's it uh, i thank marcos again uh, from our other team uh, for this breakthrough and let's keep working